Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing two Super Bowl Legends Fantasy Packs. So of course you do have Legends players in them and they also have these Super Bowl players. I'm mostly doing it for the Super Bowl players and of course each bundle has a topper of a 91 to 92 overall Super Bowl player and if you guys are curious to what's in the actual packs... Pack odds on the back, so you have a 3.9% chance of in 94 plus, an 11% chance of in 92 plus, 35% chance of in 89, and a 100% chance you're pulling at least an 86 overall card in these, like a usual Legend Fantasy Pack. Now I'm doing two of those bundles, so we have eight Legend Super Bowl, Super Bowl Legend Fantasy Packs, that they're called. Uh, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out exactly what we can get out of these bundles. Now, I'm not going to look at the lower overall cards because all I want to focus on is the higher ones because that's all we're going to pull in these. Now, we also do have Marshawn Lynch. No, not Marshawn Lynch. Um, Garrett Blunt. And we have the other limited time. Come on short, I think his name is. Yeah, come on short. Uh, we have those two still in packs. So I can technically pull one of them. But take a look at the 94 pluses. We have Trey Flowers, Malcolm Smith, which he's got 89 speed. It's actually pretty solid. Uh, Jordy Nel What's Jordy speed? 90 speed? Yeah, kind of expect that. Uh, we have Eli Manning go for 300k, Malcolm Butler 380k, Marshawn Lynch is 400,000 coins, and that's it for the 94 to 95s. Now we do have some 96 to 97s, but I'm pretty sure you cannot pull these guys out of these packs. Uh, Rondé Barber is going for a million coins, John Elway is a million, Franco Harris is also a million coins. I did also drop a video going over the best team to pick between the red team and the blue team, so if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. Here's Franco compared to Kyle Juszczyk though. He's looking pretty good. He's got 91 freaking speed. Now, Reggie White. This is a really good card. Compared to Khalil Mack, speed and excel. He's a little bit slower with the speed. He's only two less excel. But the strength is better. The tackle is better. The block shed is one better. Power move plus two. And then the finesse move is up to a 90. That's a really good card. So I don't think we can pull the 97s. We, we might be able to if we can. Hopefully we get one here, but into the Super Bowl Legend Fantasy Packs. All I want is either one limited time pull or like a 95 Lynch. I don't think that's too much to ask for, honestly. And I'm, I'm still not too sure exactly on like the total value for the rings and stuff. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on that and see if I should keep these players, quick sell them, not sure what to do. Uh, but round two, we get a 75 overall power up and an 81 Curtis Samuel. Round three, we get a high team that we can lead. That's... Come on, man. <laughs> That's not even a high elite anymore. We get 86 Jermaine Curse, okay. And we get 83 Bruce Smith. So we're going to take Jermaine Curse, of course. 86 overall. Super Bowl edition right there. I don't think I'm going to do in these master sets. Nah, I might actually do in master sets. Maybe to get a gameplay or something. But I won't be doing any of the master sets to probably keep my team. Uh, I'm not really that interested in any of these players. Maybe Reggie White, but I already have Khalil Max. I'd have to sell him. As we get three elites here, we get 282, so I'm going to take both of them. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo and Zach Miller. We get 84, DeMar Dotson. That's a good one. 86, Robert Alford. And 82, Lorenzo Neal. So again, we're going to have to take Robert Alford there. The Falcons player, the man that picked six, Tom Brady. I think it was like a, I don't even know how long of a pick six it was. I know he picked six him, though. Uh, next Super Bowl Legend Fantasy Pack. Shannon Sharp, okay. We get Landry Jones and Frank Zombo. Can we get another Elite? We get a Zero Chill. 79, that is not Elite. We get an 82 Graham Gano, I'll take it there. Uh, round three, 83 Jason Verrett. Uh, 86 Robert Alford again. And again, we're going to go with Robert. So, so far, these packs have been... Nah, they, they haven't really been that good. But hopefully, we can go ahead and get something good out of this. If you guys have not already smashed like button on the video, hit that like button down below. Thank you guys very much, by the way, for 60,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. We just hit 60K after hitting 50K in December. That is absolutely nuts. So I can't say thank you guys enough. Round number three. Didi. We get a high legend. Oh, that's okay. 89 Brian Westbrook. Whatever. 86 Jermaine Curse. Honestly, I don't know the prices, so let me check. Actually, a little bit more of a big difference than I thought. Curse is like 16K. Brian Dawkins is like 49K. I did not know that. So I guess that you should probably be going with the Legend players. 
unless you get like a super high overall uh, Super Bowl player. Make sure I was recording real quick. Uh, that would have really sucked. Next, Super Bowl Legend Fantasy Pack. We'll get Christian McCaffrey. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the 66. And I guess the 62. We don't really have a choice there. Round number two. We get an Elite. 84 Zay Jones. Really, man? Come on. And 78 Duke Johnson. Round number three. We start off with a Legend. 84 Larry Allen. We get another high Legend. Please be good. 91 Franco Harris. And 86 Curse. So we're definitely going with Franco there. I wonder if Franco's full legend is going up for price he's probably gone up in price a little bit so maybe that's going for a little bit more juice that might be like 150k hopefully somewhere around there if i'm lucky it's probably going for like 60k now uh but hopefully it's actually going for a decent amount take the high silvers there round two another high legend 92 terrell suggs let's go man i don't know how much he is but i know that's going for a decent amount so that's a very nice pull there round number three 82 try turner okay we get a high overall one, 91 Frank freaking Gore. Let's go, man. I know for a fact that's like, I want to say 90, maybe 100,000 coins. So that's a very, very good point there. Next, Legends Fantasy Pack. Okay, we got two very good pulls. That pack was definitely my best pack so far. Uh, we get a Power of Miles Jack there. And, of course, take the high silvers. Round two. Zero Chill Elite. Steve Atwater. 80 Tavon Young. I guess we're going to have to take Steve here. Round number three, we start off with a low Team of the Week Elite. 83 Josh Reynolds. We get a not-so-good Super Bowl Elite in Corey Clement. And the legend is 83 Steve Hutchinson. So I'm going to take Corey Clement. I know price-wise, maybe Hutchinson is a better value. But I'm probably just going to do a quick sell on the low overall uh, Super Bowl players. I'm going to take them. Round, or actually, round number one, a final pack. And then, of course, we have the two stoppers. We're going to go with the gold and the high silver. Round two. 80 overall Eric Harris, okay. We get a legend. 87 Dallas Clark. Okay, so again, with Clark just getting an upgrade, his price might have gone up a little bit. We get a flashback? Okay, that's <laughs> that's new. 88 Danny Trevathan. We get a trash, unfortunately, Super Bowl player. And we get a high, a late legend, 90 overall Kevin Green. So we're going to take Kevin Green there. At least we ended it off on a good note there with Kevin Green. And we also got 87 Dallas Clark. So I'm not sure how many coins we just made off that. But we do also have the two toppers. Please. Give me 92, 92s. That's all I want. It's 292 overalls. Let's get into this. Come on, EA. Give me someone good, man. We get 91 CJ Two Tons Anderson. Uh, so he's a blue team. I don't know if I'm actually going to be using him for anything. I might just quick sell him for the rings or sell him. I'm going to take a little bit of a look at the uh, sets and see exactly what else I need for the sets. Give me a 92 overall. Please, EA. Give me 192. That's all I want. You give me a 91. Now give me a 92. 91 Coney Ely. So, unfortunately, we got two 91 overalls, 93 pounds, 77 speed. But, honestly, I don't know how many coins we just made. So, let's go ahead and take a look at how many coins we just made off those two bundles. See if it was actually worth it. I, I really don't know if it was or not, to be completely honest with you guys. But, we did get Terrell Suggs and some other disposals. So, out of the two bundles, we pulled everything from Darian Stewart up, I believe. No? Was it Darian Stewart up? No, we pulled Jermaine Curse. So, we start off with Curse. These guys are like 17k each. So, uh, these guys we got, let's see, four. So, those are like 15 to 20k a pop. So, I'm just going to say 80k for those. Uh, we got Franco Harris, who's not up. Okay, I don't know how much he's going for, but I can might have that in a second. Uh, so, 80k so far. Brian Dawkins is 36k. So, we're looking at about 115, 110,000 coins or so. Terrell Suggs. 120 so we're up to about 230k that's not bad i guess uh we also got kevin green who's 60k so we're looking at about 300,000 coins plus you gotta add up all the low elites uh 300k clark is 25k so 325 and then we got coney ely who's 80k so we're looking at about 400,000 coins plus we got cj anderson who's another 85k so 485 and then finally, Frank Gore, who's about 90. So we're looking at about a 550K, plus however much this Franco Harris is going for. It looks like Franco is going for a little bit over about 100K. So right now, off this bundle, 
we made about 650,000 coins. Now, if I were to quick sell all these players, how many rings would I get? 18,000. I'm not sure exactly what to do. So I'm going to hold on to those players and take a look, I guess, at their value. See if I should go ahead and quick sell them or what I should do exactly. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. If you guys did go ahead and open a bundle, let me know down below what you guys pulled. Unfortunately, another bundle. No limited time pull. Nothing super, super glitchy, but we did get a couple of 91 overalls. We got 191 that wasn't guaranteed. We got a 92 T-Sizzle. We got a 91 Franco Harris. I can't be that mad, I guess, at this bundle, but hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll probably try and go ahead and get some gameplay with one of these Master Cards. So if you guys want to see some gameplay with any of these Master Cards, let me know down below which one you want to see first. Maybe I'll try to get, like, Elway gameplay. I feel like Elway's probably going to be, like, one that you guys want to see a lot. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.